Lauren, this is Brain Stuff, and today's question is what is silica gel, and why do I find little packets of it in so many things? I mean, that's weird, right? Why would boots and beef jerky both come packaged with the same stuff? Silica, or more precisely, silicon dioxide, is the same stuff that quartz and sand are made of. It's a desiccant, meaning that it adsorbs and holds water vapor. And yes, that's adsorbs with an ad, not absorbs. When we say that something adsorbs moisture, we mean that water molecules adhere to the surface of the material. Think of the way that sand can seem to soak up water. The water is really just adhering to the surface of each grain. Basically, silica gel does the same thing. It's covered in millions of tiny pores that can retain moisture. It can actually absorb about 40% of its weight in moisture, and thus can reduce the relative humidity in a closed container down to about 40%. So you'll find silica gel packs in anything that would be affected by excess moisture. It's in with leather products where it can limit the growth of mold, you'll see it packaged with electronics to reduce condensation, and because it's nearly harmless, you'll find it preventing spoilage in foods like pepperoni. You still don't want to eat it though. If you emptied out a packet and ate the beads, they would begin absorbing moisture from your tongue, gums, and the rest of your mouth. Your first instinct would probably be to just spit it out. But if you did swallow it, well, okay, probably you'd be fine. But not all silica gel is the same. Some of it has a toxic coating of cobalt chloride. Swallowing this stuff probably also won't kill you, but it could cause nausea, vomiting, and a few other less than awesome side effects. But when it comes to keeping things dry, silica gel works pretty well, which is why it's so widespread. It's also found in vitamin bottles, industrial air systems, and oddly enough, containers of cat litter. And this stuff is reusable. You can dry it out by heating it in an oven at about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about 150 degrees Celsius. People have found all sorts of ways to reuse it. There might be too many to list, but I guess I can try. Okay, here it goes. Protecting papers from humidity, drying flowers, preventing rust on tools, preventing condensation on windows and inside picture frames, preserving art and display cases, mitigating small spills and luggage, slowing silver tarnishing, stopping seed mold, preventing camera lens fogging. So that should just about wrap up this question, but if you guys have any others for us, you can leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed it, then please do subscribe or come check us out on our website at brainstuffshow.com.